Hey guys, welcome back. It's Rebecca here, creator of Ganji Plans Printables, which can be found at ganjiplans.com slash shop. Every month I like to do a overview video of the inserts released in the previous month, just to give you an idea of my thought process behind the design, how I use them personally, and hopefully to give you some insight and some ideas into how to use them in your planner setup. So today I'm going to be going over all the inserts that were released in January, 2021. The first insert here, number 21, is uh, very similar to insert 002 in that it's a split weekly. So you have Monday through Friday on one side and then the weekend on the other side. Um, this version has a to-do list, the full length of the left page, and then weekend instead of Saturday, Sunday. So if that's the kind of thing that matters to you, you could have just one two column to-do list, or you could have two separate to-do lists for Saturday, Sunday, but it gives you a little bit more freedom. This one also makes the uh, habit tracker and this weekend box a little bit smaller so that you can fit a couple spaces here. I use these for notes like some projects that I'm working on and next action items, or for lists of the, um, the content that I'm creating for that week, that kind of thing. Number 22 is very similar to insert 19. It's a daily, though it is reconfigured a little bit differently. So the pocket size has a full 12, uh, 24 hour time ladder. Uh, different sizes have different numbers of hours based on what could fit elegantly. Um, the half letter has 24 hours with two lines per. Um, I believe Pocket has two lines per hour, but not the full 24. So you can take a look at what's available in the preview shot for each size, but you've got still room for your top three here and then a general to-do list and a couple of boxes for, I use these to highlight certain things. Like if I'm doing a load of laundry every day, I'll put laundry, I put my dinner plans here, that kind of a thing. Generally for something that I'm doing something every day, but a different thing, if that makes sense, like laundry. I like to do laundry every day, but a different load. Then number 23 is Cornell Notes. Uh, if you're not familiar, there's a link to a description of the system on the um, product page for this, but basically it's a note-taking system popularized at Cornell University. So you put the name, the subject, date, page, and then you put notes here in this column, on this side, you put something that is like a, a category or trigger so that you can cover up this side and use this to um, to like trigger you or kind of suggest things for you to review, basically. So if you're trying to memorize stuff, you put notes from the class here and then the topic here. Then on the bottom, you put a little bit of a summary so that it's easy to see what's you know on each page. Helps you synthesize the information from your class. Um, so it's just a general um, note taking thing. This could be really good for students. Then the next two are for content creators. Insert 24 is a um, YouTube video, specifically YouTube, but really could be used for any kind of video content creation. So you put, you know, the, the day that the video is going out, the title, then you can do some notes, jot down the description. If you're like me, by the time I am ready to upload everything, I don't want to have to be thinking and doing extra thought. So having um, notes for like the, the description and the tags and stuff like that, I like to have ahead of time. Um, this is a reminder to have some kind of dis, you know distinct discrete call for action uh, in each one. There's room for the five lines for the five max I cards per video. So if you're going through and editing and think ah, I should really tag this other video, you can say, okay, at 10 seconds in, I should really tag this video. And then there's some room for some general notes and then a full checklist of any possible best action um, that you could take for a video. So maybe not every single video is going to need VO, but there's a check mark for anything that you could think of and a couple spaces for anything that I didn't think of. Then number 25 is the same thing, but for a blog post. So this, uh, this is great for, you know, thinking about your SEO, for your keywords, the categories that it's going to go in on your blog, the tags you use, where you're going to get your images, um, where you're going to link to other sources, what kind of call to action you want. And obviously this isn't big enough to fit an entire blog post, uh, but it could be some notes on an outline and then you can draft it elsewhere. I don't know about you. I prefer to draft stuff on the keyboard anyway. And that's it. Short video today. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you like my designs from this last month. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. I post videos twice a week, so I will see you in the next one on Sunday.